Hello everyone, I am Adrian Menezes from Mumbai, India. Good morning and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel today is taken from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. And because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, Who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the, victim, to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Jesus says to us as well, Go and do likewise. Let's start with the first thing that is asked of Jesus. Eternal life. It's asked to test Jesus. And Jesus' main point ends up being that it is all mercy. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Show mercy to those around you as you have received mercy from God. Let's look at the first question that the lawyer asked Jesus. And sometimes we might end up asking the same question, maybe not to, to test Jesus, but because we really need answers. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? The answer to this question is the two great commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. I personally find this very difficult to do, both of them. Loving God, who is good and loving and merciful and faithful and kind with all my heart and my mind and my soul and my strength, that is pretty difficult for me. And loving my neighbor, who is annoying, challenging, hurtful, unfaithful, maybe even has betrayed me. As I think about these two things, I realize it does not matter who the person is that I'm trying to love. If they're perfect like God, or they're full of faults like me and people around me, I find it difficult to love. Does the fault lie with the other person, or am I the one who is unable to love? Deep down, maybe some of us realize this already, but let's examine it. Why is it hard for me to love? My simple answer is because I want things my way. I want everything to be according to my plans or my dreams or designs. I want to be the God of my life. That is why I find it hard to love God because his plans don't always align to my plans. And I find it hard to love others because their behaviors may hinder me from my own plans. The important lesson Jesus is trying to teach us here 
is to forget ourself. If we forget ourself, we can begin to love. If we stop wanting to be the God of our own life, we will begin to love God more and love our neighbors more. Let me offer one suggestion here. Take time to think of one strong preference that you might have, that you might be slow to let go of. But think of that so that you can be more gracious to others. It could be one thing that you've placed at the center of your life that has been pushing God or others slowly to the sides. It could be a habit like waking up late or not doing the dishes or an emotion like being angry or annoyed or even an idol in our life like success or money. We think of ourselves but not of the person dying on the side of the road like in the story of a good Samaritan. Our neighbors are sometimes beat up, trampled down by others, by the preferences of others, by the selfishness of others, even my own selfishness sometimes. But I am unable to see past my own desires or the things that I love in my life. And that's why I did not see my neighbor lying on the side of the road in need of help. Let's take time today to let go of one of our preferences so that we can notice and help our neighbor who is dying by the side of the road. This is what Jesus says is the answer to our question. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Become a little more like God who gives us this eternal life as an inheritance because we are his children and because we act like his children. He who let go of everything for our salvation is making us like him so that we can enter into eternal life. Let's not lose this opportunity that God is giving us. Let us lean in and try to embrace this eternal life, this gift that God is giving us. If you've been blessed by this reflection, please share it with your friends and family. God bless you all.